Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam Lotus Squad? Today we're here doing a ranked one v one. I'm playing Sukiyomi. It's a try hard Thursday. No, it's Friday. I apologize for yesterday. There was no video. Um, reason is I tried recording after the gym yesterday, and it. I mean, honestly, it just it just didn't go very well. I had super low energy the entire video. <coughs> Sorry. It's super low energy the entire video and um hold on sorry i have uh, 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 beads ages shell med shell beads shell ages shell uh anyways i had super low energy the entire video and I, I lost almost all of my games like literally like three out of four of the games that i played that day i lost so um it was, like there was only one game that I lost that I was actually competitive against uh Hawken, which I might just edit in this video. I don't know, it depends. Um I know some people do like watching my losses, but I don't know. The energy yesterday was not what I it, it didn't reach the minimum of what I wanted in my uh in my videos. So you know quality over quantity type deal i decided yesterday it wasn't worth it to upload instead today i'm just gonna do a try hard friday and hope that you guys enjoy it enough now i'm fighting a bacchus who went all tank and he even went what is this called then Sentinel's gift. Don't you only get that if you get the assist? Right? Yeah, getting an assist. Yeah, it's dual, bro. You're not gonna get that many assists. Well, I don't know. Maybe he maybe he will. Who knows? Maybe he knows something I don't. Where are you going? What are you doing? What? <laughs> what even is happening right now, my dude? He just went for the XP cap. I walked up, stole it, and walked away. What's next? It. This guy seems like he's a bot. Like an actual bot. Not like a bad player, but like, like literally a computer. Like he couldn't find XP, so he went to XP camp. And then there was nothing on the map for him to do except die if he was going for my wave. So instead he just ran back to his tower line. Now I'm not close to the wave, so he goes to clear it with auto attacks. I step up, he's going to run away. Wait, it... Wait, is high res testing bots in ranked? Because I... I don't... I... These beautiful blades just need a good I'm not even trying to roast. I really am not. What's your MMR? Hold on. It should pop up. It's 1500. So he's... <clears throat> so he's new to duel. Okay. But. But why Bacchus? Upgraded his med, bro. I don't. Okay, you know what? Instead of, like, caring about this game at all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this game to talk about the patch notes. I did this in yesterday's video. Hold on, let me pause. I did this in yesterday's video, and um, obviously I didn't upload that, so let me open the patch notes real quick. I'm just going to give you a really fast rundown of the patch notes real quick while playing the game. Make sure that I get to where I need to go. Okay, put this on my other screen. Unpause. So, 
Frenzy and Bracer both got 5% reduced damage buffs uh, from them. Both uh, the base level of those relics and the upgraded level of those relics both got 5 power reduced. 5% reduced. Uh, Chronos Pennant, minus 10 power. Rata Tehuti, minus 20 power. In my opinion, that's a really dumb change because 20 power on Rata Tehuti is the whole reason you buy Rata Tehuti because the, you buy it to do damage and if you're taking away the damage, I don't know. I don't get it. Whatever. This patch is called the nerf patch. There was no buffs at all. Um, I believe 29 gods got nerfed. 27 items got nerfed. And... Uh, Erling Chen got reworked and Gem of Focus got reworked. So two reworks, 29 uh, nerfs, and then 27 other nerfs. So it's pretty ridiculous. But anyways, uh, like I said, Rod of Tehuti is minus 20 power and Kronos Pennant is minus 10. So, you know, damage. Ouch. Uh, R Divine Ruin is minus 10 power. Spear of Desolation is minus 10 power. Talakai's Ring... Got a massive nerf of minus 5% attack speed and minus 5% power. So, yikes. Uh, Hecate also got minus 5% attack speed reduction, but only 10 power minus, which is Jesus. Cad shield minus 5 physical power. Breastplate of Valor. We are under the defensive the defensives. Cad shield's nerf was to its damage. So, technically, it's not a defensive nerf. Um, no need for the fans. Breastplate of Valor minus 10 protection on all stages of it. Ansile is minus 10 power, I believe. It is minus 10 power. Mystical Mail minus five base damage. That's the only change or the only nerf so far that I think is warranted. Uh, Bulwark of Hope is minus 10 magical protection. Hide of the Nemean now only stops 50% of an auto attack instead of 100, which is dumb because that item already sucked. Pressure is minus 5% attack speed from 15% down to 10%. Hydra's Lament is 35% damage bonus on your auto attacks instead of 40%. Jotun's Wrath is now only 40 power instead of 45. That is all versions of it, the tier fours. Uh, Serrated Edge, big, big, big nerf. Hello, Bacchus. How nice of you to join us on this game. I I don't get it. Like if I wanted to kill him, I could have killed him. I thought for sure I was just gonna get his meditation. Um anyways, Serrated Edge got a massive nerf. Five power off of the top plus two power per stack reduced. Per stack. You get four of those stacks, that means eight less damage there, plus five taken off the top. You are talking about uh thirteen physical power on that item removed, which is a lot of physical power to remove from an item. Um, Aussie has a 5% less lifesteal. Atalantis Bow has 5% reduced attack speed. Wind Demon has one second reduced on the passive, which is literally irrelevant. Deathbringer in all forms, that does include Tier Force, has a minus five power, which is fine, honestly. Gauntlet of Thebes. It uh, has 50 less HP, even the evolved version of it. So you're just never going to have as much HP with Gauntlet of Thieves as you did before. I don't know if that's going to matter too much for the Conquest junkies in the game, but who knows? Uh, Pridwin now only has 90% scaling on its protections rather than the 100 that you used to have. Uh, Sovereignty is 5%, or I'm not 5%, but 5 reduced protections. Art Ward is 5 produced, reduced protections of um, magical form in all stages of it. That does include Tier Force, like I said before. Um, let's see. Celestial Legion Helm got a massive nerf. It was too good of an item anyway, so I'm glad that it got nerfed. 10 power taken off the top. One second reduced to gain stacks and one second faster to lose stacks. So it's very easy to get those stacks off now. Um, Vamp Shroud got 10 magical power reduced from it. Anthel of Discord now has a five of each of the protection types from it and takes 20 seconds longer for the cooldown. And then Archmage's Gem... Gives you uh, no longer. So I, I told you it got reworked. He's getting stuck on minions. Hold on. I'm going to kill him. He's going to surrender. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's better than I am. Um, Archmage Gem, I told you, got reworked. I don't know why they called it a rework. In my opinion, it's not a rework, but they you know, they said it was. So what am I going to do? Say no. Um, 
It no longer procs when you're hitting enemy minions. It only procs when you're dealing damage to enemy gods, which in my opinion is a massive buff, and that's not really debatable. It is a massive buff. Uh, however, they did reduce the damage from 30% additional boost on your next ability to only 20%, <laughs> which isn't bad because you're, uh, you're using your abilities relatively often. You don't ever really get more than 20% anyways so i think it's it's pretty good honestly it's technically a nerf yes i'll admit it is technically a nerf but it's a it's a mild one it's a mild one and now that is all of the 29 items that got nerfed or 27 i'm not sure i know i've been talking a lot but like i said i'm just going to use this game to go over the patch if you don't want to hear about the patch obviously you don't have to watch this game but you know i figured some people do so let's do it now onto the gods i'm not going to talk about all the god nerfs most of them are irrelevant there is 10 to 20 damage taken off of their base damage on abilities which like i said pretty irrelevant um so what i'm gonna do is i'm only gonna i'm gonna scroll through them I'm only gonna tell you the percentage reductions percentage reductions are the only important ones here so first off two big ones <clears throat> agni and persephone Agni, his passive now does 2%. It has 2% less scaling. It's actually really big because with Agni, you're building a lot of power. So that 2% less scaling on your on your passive is <clears throat> actually meaningful. And your alt got kind of fucked. I know I said I'm not going to talk about base damage. But um, the base damage of your alt got reduced by 20. You're like, oh, that's no big deal. But it also got reduced by 5% scaling. So... Not only did they take 20 power off the top, they also reduced the scaling by 5% in order to make you not have fun, I guess. I don't know. And then Persephone, like I said, she is the other big one. Um, hold on, are you going to jump or something? Uh, I'm confused about what's happening here. I really don't understand. Um, okay, Persephone. She got 10% reduced scaling on the explosions of her of her plants and 5% reduced scaling on the biting. Uh, you know, when you send them out and they go <laughs> and they bite, <laughs> there's 5% reduced scaling on those. So overall, her plants do 15% less damage. Not great, honestly. And this one is really big for Conquest in particular, or even in Duel too. The alt no longer reduces attack speed when you cage them so before it used to attack speed, uh, reduce attack speed by a lot so if you got altered by persephone alt it was pretty hard to get yourself out because your attack speed was so slow um now it doesn't slow so if you get altered just auto attack your way out it's not going to take more than two seconds you should be fine um soul got changed for her alt a five percent less hit or five percent less damage um, on her alt per hit, obviously is what it is. Uh, let me go to the power items. I don't know what to buy. I'm just going to buy the, I don't know this. Um, Thoth does a 5% less damage per hit on the one and 5% uh, less scaling on the alt. Um, Zeus got nerfed, but not too much. Uh, Achilles got nerfed, but not too much. This one is big. Chuck got changed. Chuck honestly got shit on this game. 5% uh, less healing per tick. So 5% overall of your heal, which just straight up blows. And then 15% or I'm sorry, 15 seconds increase on the alt cooldown, which sucks. Um... Gilgamesh does 0.5% damage less auto or per auto on the one and 5% I'm sorry 10% less scaling on the ult and 10% less slow on the ult so 10% scaling and slow on the ult that's kind of yikes Mulan got nerfed nobody cares she already sucked um Shiva in the three he is now immune to all CC's except stuns 
except stuns he used to be immune to all cc's in general but now he's immune to all cc's except stuns that's crazy uh Bologna's shield now only slows 20 percent instead of 35 which is massive uh Kimazot's got changed arachne's heal got changed two percent less um Lena, 10 percent less on the alt Five percent less. Oh, I'm sorry. Ten percent less on less on the alt. Ten percent less on the one, and five percent less on the three. So just nurse all around. I mean, I already everyone already knew she did too much damage. Loki, five percent less damage when you're hitting someone from behind, and five percent less on the stealth per tick. And my own boy Sukuyomi, <coughs> ten percent less damage on the follow up attack of that right there. The three. Oh hi. AMC, 5% less damage on the physical scaling of Warm, and 10% off of the alt. Apollo is 5% less per alt, or per tick of the alt. And uh, that's, I mean, that's pretty much all the massive ones. Hold on, let me scroll back down it, it, it real quick. That's pretty much all the massive ones, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Oh, he got reduced by 1%. That's not much. Oh, actually, Izanami's 1, her attack speed got reduced by 10% on the 1, which is actually quite big. Um, And Medusa's Viper Shot got reduced by 20% on the 1. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's actually really big. And the 3 got 10% off the damage. RTO, no percentages. Atlas got nerfed. I don't know why. Ares, no percentages. Bacchus, the... The magical scaling of his alt got reduced by 10%. Uh, same goes for Kabrakin. And now we go to the Erlang Shen quote-unquote rework. So here's the deal. This is the only character in the entire game that is ever going to be scaling off of protections. I know. I don't know why. Oh, he has auto buy on. He did the double meditation shit. That's why. <laughs> That's why he's doing it. He just wanted to get double meditation. Okay, I understand. I understand. So he glitched He glitched the game. That's why he's a bot. Okay. Anyways. Um, Erlang Shen. Instead of it doing 15% of Erlang Shen's basic attack and 1% of the target's max health, it now does 7.5% of uh, Erlang Shen's basic attack and 1.75% of the uh the target's hp so i just won the game by the way so um <clears throat> your dog should be doing less damage to squishies and more damage to tanks pretty much uh the one got completely changed instead of hold on i'm stretching <clears throat> instead of you doing extra damage per auto attack now when you activate it you are getting 20% lifesteal at max rank, which is big, by the way. That's a lot of lifesteal. 20% lifesteal at max rank and applies a debuff for damage reduction on them. Just, it reduces their damage output on anyone you hit with that. And it stacks three times up to 21% damage reduction. So not only are you getting 20% lifesteal, you're also still doing bonus damage. It was reduced a little bit, but you're still doing bonus damage. You're getting 20% lifesteal, and you're getting 21% <clears throat> damage output reduction on them. It's massive. So, obviously your one is going to be pretty much all your damage now that your three doesn't knock up. I know, it's crazy. Your three no longer knocks up. Your, um, <clears throat> your mink form, your little... <laughs> that does 15% movement speed for four seconds after the dash is completed. So whether you cancel it or hit someone, doesn't matter. We get 15% movement speed for four seconds at the end of that. And turtle form, aka your three, when you go, um, that doesn't knock up anymore. Instead, you gain a shield. You've always gained a shield, but now you gain a shield that is 250 shield at max rank with 75% of your total protections from items and abilities. So if you're getting you're getting buffed from your protections by another character in Conquest or something, then it's going to help your scaling on your shield. I did the math. You can get 325, 325 of each protection 
in the same build. You can max out both protections at the same build. If you do that, 75% of 650 is about 475-ish. And that means every time you turtle form, you are going to have a 725 HP shield on a about an eight second cooldown. So every eight seconds, you're going to gain 725 HP. That is a video idea. That's a very good video idea that I plan on making. Um, but it's insane. It's honestly insane. Um, <clears throat> and your alt, obviously, your alt got 5% reduced or 5% increased damage reduction on it. So Erlang Shen seems like he's becoming way more tanky oriented by reducing damage, having protection scaling on his abilities and uh, reduced or increased damage mitigation on his alt. Seems like he's going nutso mode with defense. So I don't really know what's going on all the way around. All I know is this was a, a patch filled with disappointment, in my opinion. It is it is one of the biggest patches of all time, I'm sure. It's just an all-around reduction. Um, their goal is obviously to reduce overall damage output in Smite while also maintaining the feel of the game. Because people are upset, Conquest players mainly are upset, that they're getting blown up by people. It's just how it is. They're getting, I mean, the the support players are getting one shot, even while full tank. So, obviously they got to rebalance that a little bit. You shouldn't be able to one hit your tank. I kind of agree with that. So, you know, there's all those things going about. All those nerfs, all those changes. I hope you guys enjoyed my little walkthrough. I know it took about 15 minutes, but whatever. Whatever, man. We're on to game number two. Welcome, boys. Welcome to game number two. If you're here, <clears throat> then um, either you watched me talk about the patch notes or you didn't. I do want to hear your opinions on the patch notes. If you did listen to it, it's, it's a lot. I mean, it's obviously there's about 50 things there's more than 50 things that got nerfed and <clears throat> there's two reworks and erling shen got changed from a warrior to pretty much a physical guardian i mean he's all tank now i don't know it's a lot to take in i want to know what you guys think <clears throat> and i want to know what you guys think is going to happen to the meta what kind of shift is the meta going to have all right <clears throat> mm. Do I want to go Hades or Kali? That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking right now. I want to play Hades. I also kind of want to play Kali and I did ban Bologna this game. And on her's ban too. I'll play Kali. Hera? I'm not going to put me into my alt. So I should be okay. Because when he Arguses, I can just alt cancel. <sighs> when he Arguses, I can just alt cancel. And we should be chilling. Uh, do I go Boombas though is the question. Is this going to hit late game level 20? If it, if it hits level 20, I win anyways, don't I? If it hits level 20, I'm already better off. I'm Kali, for God's sakes. There's no way that I'm not better off at level 20. So, what should I do for early game? Do I go Bluestone? I only have three abilities that do damage, not four. And I normally only go Bluestone if all four abilities do damage. Um, What's going to give me the biggest lead early? What's going to keep me in it? Blue stone for extra clear. I could go leather cow actually. Leather cow does have 20 power on it now. And it gives me a little bit of lifesteal. That might be not such a bad option. It gives me movement speed too. Hmm. Yeah, 7% lifesteal, 5% attack speed. I'm actually going to try cow. I don't know if this is going to work at all. Because I, you know, <laughs> why would it? But I'm going to try. 
Does this have MP5? It does. Okay. I'm going to get my three then. So I gain 5% movement speed because I'll never have an ally next to me. So this gives me 5% movement speed, 5% attack speed, 7% lifesteal, 20 power, and 5 MP5. That's a lot of stats. Ow. Oh, he got Sprint First Relic. All right. All right. Dude, that damage is real good. Yeah, I mean, starting the game with 30 physical power is pretty insane. And that lifesteal is not bad at all because I also get lifesteal for my two, so... My two giving me life steal and the leather cow giving me life steal, I feel actually relatively tanky. I actually feel relatively tanky. I took that fight, I tanked quite a bit, and I'm still full HP. <clears throat> Jumped on the buff, by the way, when it was low HP just now, so I could get an extra 100 HP. <clears throat> My throat. Too busy being the throat goat, man. Okay. Bit of an odd play if you ask me. I'm not scared of him because I do have my my uh my alt right now and I have beats too if I need them. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty safe. I'm pretty safe. Uh I'll honestly greet a couple more waves. I feel fine. He is so scared of me. Every time I jump near him, he just shells. Or shields. Ow. Walked into that one. <clears throat> I was thinking about trying to stop it. Probably would be stupid, though. I want to go back and I want to get my full transcendence. He probably has Argus. Okay, he decided not to use it. I don't know why. Maybe he thought that I would back faster. Lucky me. Uh, he did stop going into book and go into his breastplate immediately because he's so scared I'm going to kill him. Which is honestly a little bit of a weird play because if you go book, you need to really start stacking that ASAP. <clears throat> My whole game plan is just annoy the shit out of him, really. Nice. Nice. Um, I could do some tower damage. I don't really care. I think I win late game, so... He's the one that's under clock pressure, not me. And because he's the one under clock pressure and not me, it means I have more time to just run around the map and farm to my heart's content. <clears throat> but my, uh, <clears throat> my alt stopped the Argus knock up there and then I beast his little transformation. Of, I forget what it's called. Polymorph. I, I beast his polymorph. So there was no actual way that I was going to drop that kill. And I'm doing a lot of damage. This leather cowl start is crazy. I have a hundred power right now. Hello. 
You know what's interesting is, um, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but if you get the shield off of Hera, her movement speed from the shield actually goes away as well. So she only keeps that movement speed if you, uh, if you have the shield active. Okay, you got good aim. I'll give you that. Hydra's is 23, right? Oh, jeez. Mm. Alright, that's fine. They fought well. I mean, I guess it's not really fine. It's alt for alt, but he has a breastplate, which means obviously his alt is going to come up faster. Hold on. I sneezed, sorry. Um, <clears throat> Obviously his alt's going to come up faster, so I don't know. I'm a little spooked, but I'm going to get Argus. But it's fine. Let's go into Hydra's and then Blink, probably. Blink sounds good. Next up, probably crit chance. I think I'm just going to go burst Kali. Like, I know burst Kali is mainly played against Bologna, but it's also just fun to play in general. I mean, that was, that was a shield. He did Argus, but it didn't go off. So lucky me, I guess. Actually, it was lucky him because I probably would have jumped the Argus. But who knows? Look at that damage output, dude. Look at that damage output. How much did my alt hit for? My alt hit for 243. And you don't ever use your alt to do damage as Kali. See, that's not what it's there for. <laughs> but you know what? You can make it happen. Why not? My damage is so crazy right now. out damaged him again he waited too long i think for his book like going breastplate first item was i was just a scared play you had to go book of thoth first item and then play safe the only option you had in my opinion um yeah hey baby so i'll probably go oh hello Oh, he tried to catch me off guard there, but not quite fast enough. Not quite fast enough. I don't know. I got 3k gold right now, so it's not like I'm the pinnacle of what I could be at the moment, but it's okay. Okay. How much is Deathbringer? 30, 3,500 gold because it's 2,900 gold for Deathbringer now. And then the extra, obviously, tier fours. 500. Oh. Massive kill. And that's a surrender. There we go. I, I literally won the game with 3,600 gold in hand. That's insane. But, uh... Whatever is what it is. I'll see you guys in the next game. Okay, so I don't know who this person is, but clearly they don't want to play against Kukulkin, Discordia, Agni, or Anubis, or Morgan Le Fay. Right? Uh, obviously, Loki's not a mage, but... 
he doesn't want to play against mages. So naturally, I should play a mage. The question is which one? It's Try Hard Friday. Let's not get too crazy. Okay. Babe. Babe. What mage should I play? Age. Rod is. I always play the Doodle Bob skin, so oh, let's play the Transformer one. Megatron. Be Megatron. Fighting a Sylvanas. Interesting. What, what, okay, what's with today? Though? Like, what's with today? Because I fought a Bacchus, who was actually not even a human, I'm pretty sure. And then I fought the last guy who was trying his best, so I can't roast him. But then th this guy, the Sylvanas, I don't know, maybe he beats my ass. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe he beats my ass. Good morning, my man. Good luck on the games. Thanks. Oh, you're not my enemy. Um, I think I want to just go conduit gem probably too easy. and the chronos pendant like a pretty pretty normal build pretty normie mode <sighs> want to spam all my abilities This is almost as useful as laser beak. Where is this? I really wish that they let you, uh, what is it called? I really wish that they let you auto attack while you were in that, that form, the tank form. Just shoot missiles. That would be sick. That would have been sick. A tank, bro. Think I'm scared of you? Not even close, my dude. Not even close. Look at this damage output, baby. I didn't even juke. Never mind. Only Stone of Gaia first item. Alright, blue buff down. Hello. I wonder if I could maybe kill him right now, actually. Oh, he didn't even juke. He doesn't juke, dude. He doesn't juke. Okay, you know what? Because he doesn't juke, it's going to be easy to hit him from now on. I promise. Whatever direction he's going, just aim that direction and you'll hit him every time. You can hold me. Oh, you have meditation too, huh? You are going to hold me. Not today. Uh, never mind. Am I dead? I'm alive. Let's go, dude. Yes. I'm doing this blue buff. You can't stop me. I'm doing this buff and you can't stop me. Never mind. I'm getting my ass beat by this buff. Uh, okay, whatever. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Let's go do more. I know I want to, I want to go chrono spending, but like, do more of his fun. You know, moving speed, being fast, speedy boy. That's fun. 
All right, blue buff down, baby. Really don't know what item he's he's doing. He went this way somewhere. There you are. Hello. This guy actually doesn't juke, dude. He actually doesn't juke. Now that I've realized his juke pattern, he's so easy to hit. His juke pattern is going one direction until either I miss or he misses. That's it. Ouch. All right, the one killed. So that means free reign on the red buff and also the blue buff, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I it, whatever item that is can't be too dangerous, right? So I think I'm fine to get his blue buff. What item was that? Shield of regrowth. Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. You know what? BD Gonzalez, I guess. Wow, you lost a lot of HP trying to clear that wave, huh? Call me now? I don't know. Do a lot of damage, actually. I don't know why I didn't just lead him again. I knew he wasn't going to juke, and I didn't lead. I'm so dumb. Report your findings. I'm Dummy McGee. I should be fine. I mean, he's not going to do too much damage to the regrowth. I mean, it's tanky, but it's not like damage. You know what I mean? He did use his meditation just now, but it wasn't enough. He's just going to surrender. All right. All right. Sounds good. I don't know why, but I'm sorry to ruin your fun. See you guys in the next game. Yo, what's up, boys? Next game, I'm playing Hades. I'm fighting Ama. The bands are pretty high-level bands. So, uh... I don't know. We'll see. Oh, a GM dueler. A GM dueler on Ama Tarasu. Okay. Ama's pretty good, dude. Ama's definitely up there. Any kind of uh, Ama gameplay always scares me, because they can do a lot. With not much, uh, not much to grab on, they can, they can still grab and hold and and kill easily. So, I'm a little nervous, but you know what? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my uh, my tried and true method of giving up red buff and waiting to get to level twenty. And if I can do it correctly, then we're chilling. Getting at his tower line. <clears throat> Minions have spawned. I want him to move because he'll follow me and kill me if I do this incorrectly. I love you. Please go easy. I'm a virgin. Uh, me too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, you can't lose the whole wave though. There you go. Nice. Nice. Okay. We're back, boys. We're back. I used all of my resources pretty much. Have you learned your lesson yet? Here comes the beat. Oh. I hate it when that happens. Your middle tower is under attack. All right, it's fine. The DJ sees all who in the I'm still doing fine here. I can just auto this down for a little. What's your problem? 
Nice. Have you learned your lesson yet? I won't let you down. Jesus. I just full ulted him and he just he just took it. I guess my full ult only did 300 damage, huh? I don't know, pretty darn tanky. Yeah, there's there's no way I ever go for that, right? That would be dumb. That would be full of disappointment on my own end. All right, so he does my blue. I got red buff and blue buff, though, so I'm pretty okay with that. The next thing is, can I get the XP camp? Because if I can get two buffs and the XP camp, I'm feeling pretty good. And it looks like I can, thankfully. I did buy a chalice, so my gold is a little bit lower than it should be, maybe. <clears throat> he paused. I'm scared, dude. I gotta make it to level 20. If I don't make it to level 20, I lose this game because there's no way that I can deal with an Ama with out Boombas. I think. I mean, Polly, Polly, and Breastplate are great, but I don't know. Is it enough? Is it enough on its own? Alright. Nice. He does have his ult. Keep that in mind right now. It is important. Oh. Oh, died the archers. Let's go, dude. Massive kill. Massive kill. I thought he was actually going to get away there for a second. That's very big for me. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to ignore the tower. I'm going to act like it doesn't exist. I'm going to go for this wave clear. If he decides to try to kill me with his ult, that's fine, but... You will lose out on a lot of XP. We can do this together. Here comes the beat. Can't hide forever. I'm gonna circle around and go back for his blue. Nice. Blue buff all mine. He did get Golden Blade. I don't know why. I don't think you ever need a Golden Blade, Azama, but... Oh, okay. Ouch. Alright. So we cleared a full wave. Let's see if we can get this red buff. He doesn't have alt, so there is really nothing I need to be scared of yet. I believe. Okay, he's just going to give me the buff. He knows he can't stop me. Good for me, bad for him. If he dashes on me, I will alt. I don't care. I won't be able to kill him, obviously, but... All right, so I wasn't actually able to kill him. Obviously, I ulted and he just dashed away, but I was able to get triple buff control. And I do have my dash and my shield right now, so I should be good. There's no way you take my tower. I have so much gold. I got a back, man. I got a back. What's your problem? Soon. <laughs> I got a back now, but... You know, whatever. I'll wait it out. Here comes the beat. Damage is pretty irrelevant. The DJ sees all My goal is to straight up annoy right now. And it's working very well. 
I think with 3,500 gold, I can back and get Breastplate and a full Book of Thoth. That's insane. My first back, I'm getting a Book of Thoth and a full Breastplate. Need one more wave, man. That's crazy. Hades is so safe. It's insane. All right, we cleared his wave. We're back in. We have Breastplate yeah, and Book of Thoth. I guess to be fair, I uh, I was level three when I loaded in, and my first back I was level twelve. That's that's so stupid. That's so dumb. What the fuck? I uh, no, it wasn't my first back. It was my second back. I'm sorry. My first back, I got tier two book. Look out from below. Damn. Damn. I shouldn't have used my one there. I was uh, ignorant to the fact that his blue was spawning. I didn't look at my map. Have you learned your my mistake. mistake. I'm just going to slowly annoy you. Okay. My blue is not up yet. I assume that's what he what he wanted just now. Why he ran over there like that. Oh, mannequins, man. We can do this together. Mannequins got my blue buff. I'm still really far ahead, so like it's not an issue or anything. What are you doing? I wonder if my next item should be Pen or just a Polly. Because I think Polly should be fine, but I don't know. I don't know right now. Got Shoguns? Got Genjis. I think Genjis is a weird play here. I don't know what he's doing. I think he seems like he's trying to mess with me, but at the same time, he genuinely cannot. Like, no matter how hard he tries to mess with me, he just won't be able to. Alright, well, I don't know. I got a full poly. I got blink too. He could be doing bull demon. If he is, doesn't really matter. I still have tower up, so whatever. Okay. I want your blue buff. Hello. Yes. The party starts for no god. I got his blue buff. Probably wants to do some tower damage here, I assume. Your middle tower is under attack. That's no big deal at all. I insta clear, so. Whatever tower damage you think you're doing, not going to be enough. Getting the XP camp right now. But. I'm completely safe just farming. Like, 
what what he's not understanding is that the longer this game goes the easier i win it not him so him playing like this is it's bad for him not bad for me i should be 17 after this buff oh no still 16 but he is still level 15 so i got quite the lead on him right now quite the lead what's your problem nice i feared him so he couldn't clear <laughs> and i mean he has he has golden blade but like how much is golden blade gonna do for you oh well i guess a lot if i can't catch you He's running all the way back. I expected him to, but I just wanted to make sure he would. Uh, my next item, I need pen. Oh, I need divine actually. I need divine. He's got meditation, a chalice, and he's got a, a pretty significant heal with his one. So, fine will be good. And then probably just go rod. I don't have too much percent pen, but it should be enough. Well, I mean, you can certainly play this game if you want. I have Polly, so I'm not afraid to play this. This ignore me all game game that you want to play. What's your problem? Dance for me. <laughs> I won't let you down. Yeah. Here comes the beat. Have you learned your lesson yet? Oh, I missed my spear. That's not good. Hmm. Oh, he finished his cans. Okay. Okay. Well, that is not what I want. Here comes the beat. Cleared my wave. I'm sure he wants red buff. Oh. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That is unfortunate. I do still need some cooldown, though. There's your med. I have divine though. That isn't gonna do as much as you thought it would. I might be able to clear this wave. Alright. He's a little scared. As he should be though, honestly. That is my level 20, which means Boomba's hammer is very, very soon, which is massive for me. I should be able to get it after I kill this and the blue buff. There's that. I still have my tower up, so uh, thankfully... I'm not too scared of a bull demon play. He is going to get frostbound. That's going to suck, but once I get Boomba's, it should be okay. I can fear like every... I don't know, eight seconds or something. Oh, I can already fear every seven seconds. With Boombas, I'll be able to fear every three seconds. That's incredible. <clears throat> oh, we did get horrific. All right, with horrific and... Uh, Here 
Okay. You run all the way back? Did. Him. He always runs all the way back. What's your problem? Dude. My damage is pretty insane right now. My auto damage. Look out for me. That is not good. Okay, never mind. It's amazing. Dude, the Boombas. I'm telling you, the Boombas. This item is so broken. It's so stupidly broken. Dude, the fact that I can kill his Titan without losing any HP. I don't know, man. I don't know. Pretty insane. That is going to be the uh, end of this Tryhard Thursday, though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, if you did. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys.